Hello friends in this video I will show you how to load product on price change on HTML5 input type range element by using Ajax function called with query PHP and MySQL. I have received many requests from my subscriber to search product with price less than the selected price range. Friends this is my simple product table with 5 column product ID, product name, brand ID, product price and product image. I have already inserted some data into this table. Friends this is my simple page, on this page first I have defined one HTML5 input range with minimum is equal to 10,000 maximum is equal to 55,000 step is equal to 1,000 value is equal to 10,000 it is equal to mint price and name is equal to mint price. When use change range then at the time this product will load under value of this range element. Now friends I have defined one span tag with id price range. In this span tag I will display price from value of input type range element. After this friends I have moved the display product on this page. For this first I have make database connection. For this first I have defined one variable connect is equal to misclick connect with for variable host is equal to locale lost. Username is equal to root, password is equal to blank and database name is equal to triple Z. Now I have to make SQL query. For this I have write one variable query is equal to select star from product to order by product price with descending order. After this I want to execute this query and store result into result variable is equal to miscly query with two parameter database connection string is equal to connector and sql query is equal to query. Now friends I have defined one division tag with id product loading, under this tag I will display product. After this I have want to check number of rows under my SQL query result for this I have used misclean num rows function with one parameter my SQL query result is equal to result greater than zero. If supposed number of row greater than zero then I have used while loop for fetch all data from my SQL query result for this I have write while loop with row variable is equal to miscly fetch array with one parameter my SQL query result. This function will convert data into associative array and store into row variable. Now friends I want to print product on page for this I have defined division tag. Under this tag I have defined one new division tag and set style property like border, padding, margin bottom and height. For product image I have write image tag with attribute source is equal to dollar row with product image. For product name under header 3 tag with row with product name and for price under header 4 tag with row with product price. Now friends I have moved to query code, when user change price range then product load, for this I have write query code on HTML5 input range with admin price as selector on change event of query. Under this query code first I have defined one variable price. Under this variable I will store value of range element current value. For this I have write dollar this with value method. This code will get current price range. Now friends I want to display price value under span tag with id price range. 
For this I have used text method of jQuery. Under text method I have write product under price rupees with price variable. Now friends I have moved to Ajax function, for this I have write $.ajax. In this function first I have define URL is equal to load product.php. Second I have define method is equal to post. Third I have define data is equal to price. And lastly I have defined success function with data. This data response I have get from load product.php in HTML format and now I want to display this HTML data under division with it product loading with fade in method with 500 and second method is HTML with data. Now friends I have moved to load product.php page. On this page first I have made database connection. After this I want to check this page has received price value. For this I have use if statement with condition. In condition I have use set function with parameter dollar post price. After this I have defined one new variable output with blank value. Under this variable I will store data which get from database table and store into an HTML format. Now friends I have defined one variable query and under this variable I have write select query like select star from product where price less than equal to dollar post price order by product price and descending order. After this I want to execute this query, for this I write result variable is equal to misclick query function with parameter database connection string is equal to connect and query. Now friends I want to check number of rows in my SQL query result for this I have used misclick num rows with result variable greater than zero. If my SQL query result has no row then I have to find no product found text under output variable. But suppose there is number of rows greater than zero then I want to fetch all data from my SQL query result. For this I have used while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with my SQL query result is equal to result. This function will convert result into associative array and store into row variable. Now friends I want to get all data and store into output variable with concatenation assignment operator. Now friends I have defined one division tag. Under this tag I have defined another division tag with set some style property like border, padding, margin bottom and height. Under this division tag I will display product image, product name and product price. For product image I have write HTML image tag with source is equal to dollar row product image. For product name write under heading 3 tag with dollar row product name and for product price write under heading 4 tag with row product price. With help of while loop we can fetch all data and store into output variable in HTML format. Lastly friends I have write simple echo statement with output variable. This will display on front end to user with page refresh.
friends you can see that product load with price less than the value of input type range change without page refresh. This type of functionality you can use on e-commerce site. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.